Welcome to part one in our Photoshop tutorial. In this part we're going to go over setting up the document and designing the header area. So first thing to do is to create a new document. 1200 by 1600 and make sure your color profile is turned off. Okay. Fill the background in with a slightly off white color. And zoom in to 100%. Next thing we're going to do is add guides. We want our template to be 1000 pixels wide and seeing as our document is 1200 pixels wide that means we're going to have 100 pixels on either side. So go on to view, new guides and 100 pixels will be our first one. And our second one will be 1100. We now have the outline for where our template will lie. We now want to split this 1000 pixels into columns. We'll first start with three columns, so splitting it into thirds. We want to create a new guide and 433 pixels and 767 pixels. That should be into thirds. Next, we'll add guides for quarters, so 250 plus 100. First one will be at 350. Six hundred pixels, and finally, eight hundred fifty pixels. So let's let's save that. We now have our template set up. The first thing we're going to have to do is add the grey bar to the top of the document. This is going to hold the logo. Let's make that a grey colour so layer new layer fill that in go to layer style blending options add the gradient overlay set to overlay of about 30% also let's add some stripes as a pattern overlay Set to luminosity and around three percent. Also, add a inner shadow to the bottom. Notice minus ninety degrees and turn global light off. Reduce the opacity on that slightly. Then finally, add a stroke of five pixels set to white. This is going to be the basic set for a template. Next thing we're going to do is add a background to this area here. It's going to be a dark background, so create a new layer. Fill that in with anything right now. Go to pattern overlay. Select background. And let's add a green overlay of around 30%. Again, set it to overlay. Finally, let's add a small grey bar to the bottom to link in with the colour of the header. Blending options. Let's add a drop shadow of one pixel to the bottom. Slightly darker. And then let's add an inner shadow of one pixel, this time slightly lighter. And that should be fine for now. Next thing we're going to do is let's write the text for the website. So create a simple logo. sure it's above the top bar. Let's keep it simple. So let's say first word can be a dark grey and then second word slightly lighter. Let's 
change the font and I go to layer style blending options add a one pixel drop shadow except make it a lighter drop shadow next add the grain overlay set to overlay and let's say 10% we have our simple logo in place. Next thing to do is the navigation. So select the rounded corner rectangle. Make sure if unconstrained is selected. Or actually, let's do fixed size, width 1000 pixels, height 50 pixels, that'll do. Go into layer and rasterize shape and delete everything that's above the white border from the top part. Next, go into layer style, blending options, gradient overlay. Let's fade from white at the top to a light gray at the bottom, like so and add a border of one pixel set to inside color white we have our simple navigation in place now let's add the links Set the size, set, set the font for us to Arial, set the size to say 16, change the color to slightly darker, set to bold possibly, try and space them equally doesn't really matter too much at this stage anyway should be about right next thing to do is sorry first add the drop shadow to the text one pixel make it lighter again to make the text stand out and next thing we're going to do layer new we're going to add a nice simple divider for each link so select black first of all make one pixel wide hold shift in order to do a straight line zoom in a bit more on the same layer do a white line right next to the black line you just did Go into layer style blending options and set to overlay. Zoom out again and duplicate this for each of the links. Again, don't worry too much about the spacing, you can always fix that later, especially when coding, it's a lot easier to do it then. And save. We now have the start of our template, you have the logo and the navigation. On the next tutorial we'll go over adding some other things, maybe the featured area here and some more details up to the top. Thanks for watching, uh, if you're watching on YouTube be sure to check out the website for the downloads and some more written instructions. Thanks for watching.